When you move to Las Vegas and finally get to become a Las Vegas local, you also will get to become a Las Vegas local tour guide for all of your friends and family members who wanna come and visit. And that's the best part about living here. You get to be a local tourist and a local at the same time. My video today is gonna to talk all about nightclubs and day clubs because that is one of the number one things that you guys are hitting me up about all the time. Now, I've got some really exciting information that I'm gonna be sharing with you later this summer. So stay tuned for that on how you can maybe get access to some of those things by reaching out to my team directly. But until then, let's build Build out your toolkit as a local and help you with some of these tips and tricks to help you maximize your experience at the day clubs and nightclubs on the Strip. First and foremost, when it comes to enjoying the nightclub or the day club's experience in Las Vegas, the best way to go about it is to get your name on the guest list. Especially if you're a local, you don't need to be standing in line like a tourist, uh-uh. You moved here, you live here, you need to get on that guest list. Guest lists are pretty simple. You can contact the club to talk to a VIP host or a VIP promoter. You can walk up and down the strip with your friends and they're usually handing out cards to get into the club for the evening. Or if you're smart, you can go onto Instagram and search Las Vegas VIP host, Las Vegas VIP club promoter, Las Vegas nightlife. There's all kinds of terms that you can search and you can find people posting in their stories and posting online about how you can get access to the club for the evening. Guest lists are kind of done the same way at all the clubs. They are all doing a little bit differently, but for the most part, bottom line is you need an even number ratio of guys and girls. Two dudes, two girls, you can get in. One guy, two girls, you can definitely get in. Two guys, one girl, not gonna happen. It is really all about the ladies. And pro tip for you ladies, if you wanna get a comp table that might include free booze, bring six or more chicks, only chicks, ditch the dudes, sorry guys, six or more chicks to the club. You can not only get on the guest list, but you can probably get a comp table. I'll talk more about that in a minute. The next tip I have for you is if you get on the guest list, which you need to do, period, end of story, just make that happen. If you're gonna get on the guest list, you wanna make sure you do a couple of things the right way, right off the bat, so that you can get on the guest list again in the future. Number one, get there early. And by early, I don't mean early for you. I mean early when it comes to the club opening. If the club opens at 10, get there 30 minutes before 10 or within 30 minutes of the club opening, get on that guest list line and make sure that all of your party is together. No stragglers, nobody's coming in late, nobody's gonna be on the list, gonna arrive in an hour, everybody has to be there at the same time. Don't make it difficult, especially if you're on the guest list and you're getting there early. You're gonna get in before the rest of the crowd, you're gonna make your way, you're gonna find your way around this club, you're gonna get your drink on early, but you have to make sure that you show up on time slash early and all together. Okay, now let's talk about getting there early. Getting there early is awesome and fantastic and it's pretty much the only way to guarantee that you're gonna get on that guest list. The guest list does not guarantee that you get through the door. It only guarantees that you get through the door if you get there, like I said, in advance. But the one thing you need to know is a lot of people are trying to go to those clubs to see the major DJs, right? Steve Aoki, Martin Garrix, whoever it is, right? Whoever might be the headliner for the night. What you need to know is getting there early, you need to pace yourself. That's my pro tip for you, especially coming from a local. Pace yourself. You're gonna be getting there at like 10 or 11. Headliners are never booked to go on before 1 a.m. Most of them are booked from one to three, two hour sets max. Trust me, they don't go on one minute before that one o'clock a.m. hour. So if you're gonna be there that early, make sure you're pacing yourself. You guys aren't getting into too much trouble. You're not wearing yourself out. You wanna make sure you can enjoy that headliner when he comes on or she comes on at one o'clock. Now, a lot of you are looking to maybe enjoy the night to the fullest extent by maybe getting a table, even if you're willing to pay for it, which is all good. The one thing I wanna make sure you know is if you're gonna buy a table, let's say they quote you, it's $1,000 for the table. Cool, whatever you do, add 40% to that number because that's gonna be the number that lands on your ticket by the end of the night. That includes gratuities and taxes and all the service fees that you're never gonna know about or think about. And after you've had a few of those drinks, you're not gonna be even be looking at that bottom line. So if all your friends are willing to pitch in for that bottle and it's only $1,000, add 40% or it's only 1,500, whatever that looks like, add 40% no matter what and make sure you guys are thinking about that before you sign that bill at the end of the night. Another pro tip for you is if you wanna get a table, Sunday through Thursday industry nights, industry nights are typically 50% cheaper especially when it comes to those bottles. So if you get on the guest list on those industry nights and you get in, you can often get a table that's better location and get 50% off of that bottle. You just have to ask. Another pro tip I wanna talk about, and this one's a little bit tough because I don't wanna assume anything, but let's just be honest. People come to Vegas, they like to have a little bit of fun, they like to bring other substances with them to enjoy while they're having fun. I don't wanna know about it, don't bring it up to me, let's not talk about it. But here's what I will say. If you're trying to have that kind of fun here in Las Vegas, what other substances you might be enjoying or looking for, whatever you do, do not ask anybody who works for the club to obtain those substances and do not do those things in front of them. The minute they know that you're either looking for that 
kind of substance or you're doing that kind of substance, you're gonna be booted and your credit card will be charged regardless. Now let's talk about events. Events are a big driver for Las Vegas and especially Las Vegas nightclubs. So if you're looking at like New Year's Eve or UFC nights, UFC weekends are crazy when it comes to the clubs or anything like that that's gonna draw a major, major crowd, maybe want to avoid those weekends with your friends in town or even as a local, you're gonna be seeing 40, 50, 60, 70% more expensive tables, a way bigger crowd, a very different vibe. And it's not often as much of a fun experience as it could be if you could just time your experience and your night out a little bit better. So just kind of avoid those if you can, or just be aware of them so you know what you're getting yourself into. Now let's talk about dress code. Dress code's something that comes up quite often in Las Vegas, because you know as well as I do, you can pretty much walk around in flip flops and a bathing suit and get into any restaurant and get into anything you want to get into, except for the nightclubs. Nightclubs are very particular when it comes to guys specifically about what you can wear and what you can't wear. Even at the day clubs, when you're supposed to be in the sun, you know, in the pool doing your thing, they're not allowing half the stuff that you think they might allow. So my big recommendation to you is check the website of the club before you go out. Make sure you're not wearing steel toed boots. Guys, no shorts. Make sure you have a collared shirt. You don't necessarily have to wear a jacket or go crazy, but just make sure that you're not wearing something that they're going to boot you out of that line for, because it's going to mess up the entire plan and the guest list that we just talked about, and it's going to ruin your night from the start. One of my pro tips that I like to give a lot of the chicks in town, but I'm going to give it to you guys as well, is watch your drink. If you're at the nightclub and you see drinks are flinging across the table and money's going everywhere and people are dancing and it gets a little bit crazy, just make sure that you're paying attention to who is handing you your drink and that it's only being poured from someone who actually works at the club or from somebody who you know. I know this is an obvious one, but sometimes when you're in the mix of things and you're in the throw, it can get a little bit crazy. And someone who walks up to bring you a drink on the dance floor is somebody that you should be saying no to. I know that sounds harsh, but you've seen those news reports and so have I, and I just wanna make sure that you're staying safe at the nightclubs here in Vegas. You know as well as I do that Las Vegas is always evolving and always growing. She doesn't stay stagnant for too long. So with the nightclub scene always changing, I figure I'd give you a few of my favorites so that you can maybe bump into me at one of the nightclubs when you're coming to visit. Zook nightclub is a new favorite and that's over at Resorts World down at the end of the strip. It's awesome, they've always got an amazing DJ lineup. It's a beautiful open air kind of indoor outdoor experience, multiple rooms, I'm really loving it. If you're a big fan of Tao or Tao nightclub, I've heard that they have a new day club that just opened that just got expanded and it's pretty awesome. Gonna be checking that out myself pretty soon. Omnia is one of the best in town. It's always been one of the best in town. It will probably always be one of the best in town. And then if you're looking to do anything as it relates to a day club, I'm sorry, but Encore Beach Club has everybody on lockdown. I hope this has been helpful for you to learn a little bit more about how to be your best kind of local, to be the local tour guide for yourself as well as your friends who come into town. Don't forget, I am in real estate. This is what I do for a living, people. So if you're looking at moving to Vegas, I better be the one that you call, especially if you're enjoying my videos. I hope you are enjoying my videos. Make sure you subscribe to the video or the channel. Make sure you like, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Tell me if I left off a good thing that I should have maybe included and I can do a revision to this video later. But otherwise, I hope to hear from you soon. My information's in the description below and I'll see you next time.